Joe Paterno. DiGiorno. Damn it, Peter. Being Susie's godfather doesn't mean you're in the mob. And you can't bring a cat to church. Why not? He's Catholic. <laughs> he does a muttly laugh. Where's the priest? Oh, the church ran out of priests months ago because of all the diddling. Now they just have a rabbi fill in. Just looks like we're drinking at a random bar. We ain't talking about any million dollar ideas. Wait, wait, pause it. Zoom in on that napkin. What does that say? There it is. Warm cuts. Like cold cuts, but warm. A million dollar idea. Warm cuts? That's dumb. If it's so dumb, how come we're pitching it on Shark Tank? Now, when we first started Warm Cuts, it was just a gross idea. But this year, we're on track to get sued for twelve and a half million dollars. Is the light keeping you up? FYI, I'm more in love with Michelle, if that was even possible. Oh, oh, you know, I still have that headache. Look, if you want to go over to Chris's room... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I said I wouldn't do that, and I did it. I, I'm just gonna finish this chapter. Peter, you brought your family? This was supposed to be a guy's trip. Please, please don't, don't tell Donna. Donna. She'll she kill me if she knew wives were allowed. Years. Please, please Lois, Lois, please, promise me. Promise Here, me look, first. I'm Here's putting like money God. in you your purse. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sending a selfie to Bonnie and Donna. Rose, bitches! Don't hit Sam. Please don't, please hit, don't Sam. hit Sam. And send. You son of a bitch. I told you. What did he do now? He don't listen to you. He don't listen to you. What is it, Bonnie? Nothing, Father Monahan. Magic 8-Ball, what's the best email provider? Outlook good. Interesting. He's not raving about it, but it's a solid choice. It was the strangest thing, Joe. Peter and Lois were right here talking to us, and they just disappeared. All right, just keep giving me details, and I'll be taking notes and definitely not drawing cool TIE fighters on this notepad. Okay, well, it was 5.30, and we'd all just gotten back from the beach. We were all having fun washing dishes, no, no, and then out of no. nowhere, Peter Stay and Lois get all angry with us. There's they start yelling at us. It's a trap! And the next thing you know, they're oh, surrounded by this well, glowing light. that perfectly drawn Millennium Falcon? Roar, said Chewbacca! Wow, I actually got the place shut down. I'm glad I was here for this, Brian. We've hardly done anything together since we made that fiber commercial and had to use code words for pooping. Wow, Brian, I've never felt so regular. Yes, you seem exceptionally active while maintaining proper body health. That's right, just two spoonfuls a day to stay regular and active. More coffee, Stewie? Yes, please. Oh dear, that was a mistake. Wait, uh, you mean you're about to be active? Currently active. Cut to the shot of them stirring the product into water. Gurgle Max, take a massive comfort. <clears throat> oh God, oh, there's regular on the carpet. Oh, there's so much regular. I've decided to be remarkably understanding about this. Really? Yes, and to prove it, I'm going to pay for Peter's bachelor party at the MTV Beach House. And I promise it's not part of a ruse to destroy your affection for Peter once and for all. Oh, Daddy, thank you. I was thrilled. Not only was Carter letting me marry Lois, but this was going to be the ultimate bachelor party. The MTV Beach House was located in the most hepatitis-rich part of Florida, known as Florida. Now, that's a compliment and empathy. When's the last time you guys said something like that? Uh, Peter, I'm not sure you... Hey, look at this. They found Meg's ear and returned it. They returned it. You know how many guys would keep something like that? Peter, please close the box. I think you need to get wise to what's going on here, because their next message may not be so subtle. Hey, you sons of bitches! This is Chad. He's my boyfriend. We love each other. We said it and everything. <laughs> Whoa, Peter, what happened? Did you tease that witch again? No, I got a back adjustment. Turns out I've been this tall all along. You don't say. Well, that's amazing. Why are you still wearing the same pants? I don't know. I only get pants at Christmas, so I'll get pants at Christmas. So, how is it being that tall? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Although I've noticed I'm a lot more clumsy in the bedroom. I'm so sorry. You two keep going. I'm going to clean this up. And before anyone asks, I brought this owl from home. 
I did not take it from the enclosed owlery. Just want to make that clear. Home brought owl. Peter, what did the two of you talk about last night? Who? Yeah, who? You can see why I stole this from the owlery. I, I, I mean, brought it from home. Damn it! My mother, after your night together, she told Daddy she's leaving him. Who? Yeah, who? All right, I'm already getting tired of this owl. I'm gonna go put him back in the owlery. Peter, enough. You've got to make this right. Now, that one seemed less earned. So as a way to forget my pain, I threw myself into a dot-com startup with Quagmire. We were two ambitious young entrepreneurs at the height of the dot-com bubble. Oogle? Goo-goo? Ga Gagoo? Gigoo? Go-go-go? Keep saying baby words, Peter. You're onto something. We're close. We're circling it. Goo-goo gaga? Oogle? Oo-ee, oo-ah. Moments later, we'd found a business idea destined to change the tech world forever. Goo-Google. A search engine for all the info on the Goo Goo Dolls. People are always going to need information about them. We were on our way. We rented office space, and watching it gave us the idea to rent office space. <laughs> oh, hey, Quagmire. We came to see how it's going. Uh, how's it going? I got a dead cat on a pitchfork. I don't even know which can to put it in. Trash? Yard trimmings? Recycling? I just put whatever in whatever. Hey, guys, check it out. Cat legs. Cats arise. Guys, it's working. I'm not dead. So, how was the trip? Um, fabulous. Well, I have to say, you do look better. I feel better, Bri. It was the best thing I could have done for myself. And you're good with Chris and Rupert now? Oh, yeah, I'm so good. I acted like a real tool before. You know, I'm actually going to make it up to them. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, Stewie. What are you going to do? I've got something super special planned. Well, I'm happy you're back. I missed you. I'm happy I'm back, too. Oh, and you can skip India. <laughs> really? Uh oh we're going to die. All right. So long, you two. Oh my god! Thank you! Prego. Welcome back to Pears Diving, and once again, we are so sorry for this. Brian, anything to add? Well, just our deepest condolences to a bored nation. And we've got Lois down at the pool. Lois, anything? No, guys, just so sorry that any of this is happening. I, I mean, even once every four years seems like just way too much. And they're up in the air, and now they're in the water. What is it again? A splash is bad? Uh, yep, I think so. That's so stupid. You... you guys can't get married in the church. We don't recognize you as... well, as people. Ah, uh, fine. Everyone, meet us in the Walgreens parking lot down the street. Meg, sweetie, are you okay? You know what, Mom? I am. Bruce and Jeffrey love each other. They deserve to be happy. And so do I. Oh, Meg, don't make this day about you. Because I love him, a resolved Ida said. I'm also a published author. Self-published! You're also a pompous, pretentious, hypocritical blowhard! Who attended Brown? For one semester! You went to Brown? For two months! See, see, that's what I mean! His whole life is a lie! I can't take this anymore. It's either him or me! Well, Lois, you are a master. Peter, I'm so relieved that my mother's back with my dad. Yep, it all worked out. Only one thing left to do. Get drunk, go upstairs, and weird out the kids. Chris, are, are you awake? Chris, you, you, wanna, you wanna Tom Brady kiss? Chris, wake up. I, I wanna give my son a Tom Brady kiss. Uh-oh, uh, uh, um. uh here he is now. Hey, Lois. Pretty cool you're back. Ah, I guess he's not such a bad guy after all. Also, America should only accept white immigrants. Oh, nope. He's still a bad guy. <laughs>